Hi, I'm Kirsten Banks, astrophysicist, science communicator, and Snowy 2.0 TBM namesake. Today, Snowy Hydro plays a critical role in keeping the lights on and underpinning Australia's transition to renewables. I am so excited to explore the Snowy scheme and share with you the science behind it. All right, so what am I about to see here? So we're at Tumor 3 power station and you're about to see the six generating units that generate our electricity for the Snowy scheme. Mm -hmm. Each unit is 300 megawatts, so we can generate up to 1,800 megawatts These. for the whole power station. Mm -hmm. So this is our operating floor and our six generating units. So that's all making power right now? Yes. That is so cool. <laughs> What is pumped hydro? So Kirsten, pumped hydro is when we draw water from a lower reservoir and pump it up to a higher reservoir so we can use that water again to generate electricity. So how does it work here then? So here we have um, water is drawn up from Junamar Pondage. It passes through our impeller, which then pushes the water uphill to Talbingo Reservoir. Right, and so how does the pump work to push water all the way up there? So there's an impeller in here, which pressurizes the water to push it up. To drive that impeller, we have the, the generator up higher. When, we, when we're pumping, we draw electricity from the network, drive that, that generator to then push water up the hill. So it's no longer a generator, it's now a motor. It's now a motor, that's right. What's the point of pushing all that water back up? Well, in the Snowy Scheme, water is a finite resource. So once we use it to make electricity through our turbines, we then it's then lost to us. So what? Pump Hydro allows us to do is capture some of that water from a lower reservoir and pump it up to a higher reservoir so then we can make it available. And reuse it again. Reuse it again. And what about Snowy 2.0? Is that going to be pumped hydro? Yeah, it's going to work on a very similar principle to Tumor 3 power station that we're in now. It'll draw water from Talbingo Reservoir and pump it up to Tantangra Reservoir. That water up there will then be able to be used later on to generate electricity when the demand is high. Awesome.